Ouch. Be careful, human. Mm. I'm Latios. What are you doing here? This is my home. Well, not really. Other Pokemon love here. But still, I was born in this forest. Mm, well, I was invisible. Because I was hiding. From you, of course. And from all the humans. I was actually waiting for a certain guy. He threatened me and said he would have come back to catch me too. He captured my brother, Latios, some days ago. I was injured and couldn't follow him. My brother sacrificed himself to protect me, but he was caught in one of those horrible red and white pokeballs. And now I must find him. But I don't know how to begin. I tried to flew out of the forest and search for this trainer, but never found him, so I decided to wait for him to come back. I'm sure he will be back to keep his word and try to catch me too. But this time I will be ready. I will defeat him and free his Pokemon and my brother will be among them for sure. Human can be so cruel. Well, not all of you guys. You, for example. You're very kind and compassionate. Oh, how do I know this? I'm sorry, I didn't want to embarrass you. Uh, it's just that I can perceive human emotion. I'm very sensitive to them, so I can feel what you're feeling. Oh, yeah, I was over that village yesterday afternoon. I was trying to search for that trainer. He was a tall, skinny boy with black hair. And there was also a girl with him. She had blue hair. Hmm. Wait. How do you know I was flying over there? Did you see me? Huh. Of course you saw me. Why didn't you tell me before? I can feel you are so awkward right now. Please tell me also so this to you humans I'm talking about. Maybe you can help me. Why I feel you are so embarrassed? I feel like I'm, you are hiding something from me. Please tell me what you know. My brother's freedom could depend on every information and can get to find him. Oh, so you admit you saw me in the sky. Well, and did you also... Wait, what? What do you mean you didn't recognize I was a Latias? <laughs> Haven't you ever heard about me in one of those Pokedex things you humans always carry around with you? Yes, and so how could you... Uh, uh, you thought I looked like a flying potato. No, 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 you are not joking. I can feel you spoke the truth. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I'm not offended, but still. A flying potato? Excuse me, I am a legendary Pokemon. Just because I am a bit chunky doesn't mean I am a potato. Well, let's forget about this. I can't perceive you didn't mean to be rude or anything. I can feel you're very kind and generous. Plus, 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 would you help me to find my brother Latios? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> Just my paw hurt still because of the fight I had with the other trainer who captured Latios. So please, 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 I can feel you want to help me, please. What condition? Oh, but he won't help me unless he accepts to be taken to the hospital. But I am fine, really. We can't waste any more time. I must find the trainer. I mean, how many blue-haired girls can be around here? They seem to be quite close to each other. I'm sure they're traveling together. And my brother is inside one of those little white and red prisons, thinking I have abandoned him. I can't allow this. I won't stay here safe and free while he's forced to be a slave or a pet for the rest of his life and fight against other Pokemons for the glory of his master. Oh, all right, all right. I accept to go to the hospital, but then promise you will come with me. Mm. Thank you, man. We have a deal and I feel I can trust you.